Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the English news from Djibouti Channel. We are the top stories of our edition tonight. Opening of uh, this morning, the Djibouti China Partnership Conference at the Diplomatic Institute. On continental news, an attack shakes the south of the capital of Syria. That were our top stories, and if you join us in Djibouti channels, welcome. The Foreign Affairs Committee met uh, this morning in the uh, committee chamber of the National Assembly, chaired by the Honorable Abdurrahman Awali Yassin. The agenda of uh, the committee was for consideration of the draft law ratifying the uh, law in agreement for the integrity slim in upgrading project in the Republic of Djibouti. During this uh, commission, the government was represented by Amina Abdi Aden, Deputy Housing Minister, uh, who was accompanied by her close uh, associate. Uh, the bill entitled an Integrated Islam Upgrading Project aims to provide uh, $50 million uh, in finding of program to improve the living condition of Islam uh, dwellers in selected urban area. This program must also contribute to training of public institutions responsible for the implementations of uh, Zero or Bidonville uh, program. Mohammed Ali Muhammad, Speaker of the National Assembly, received uh, this morning uh, office of a strong delegation uh, from uh, German, led by uh, Aden Mohammed, the later the Ambassador of Djibouti in the Federal Republic of German. The meeting was attended by the Ambassador of the Republic of Djibouti in German and the Director of uh, the Office of National Assembly, Idris Mohammed Ahmed. Uh, after the usual greeting, the president of the National Assembly was the first to speak. He's, he said he was very honored to welcome the German delegation to the primus of Djibouti parliament. The say, uh, he said the delegation included uh, uh, the mayor of the town of uh, Karl Schuher, uh, the honorable uh, Frank Mentrup. It was uh, this morning uh, the Sino uh, Djibouti conference opened at the Diplomatic Institute. The first contact between the institutions was aimed at uh, deepening uh, deep uh, the partnership between uh, Djibouti and uh, China. The conference, which, which will last uh, for two days, focused on ways to promote industrial cooperation investment opportunities. This conference was a model of uh, corporations under uh, the banner of China's international cooperation with Africa. The ambassador of the People's Republic of China uh, in Djibouti and uh, stress uh, the importance of this conference. He stressed the relations between the two countries show the ambitions to go further by wor working cooperatively uh, together. And after uh, this uh, meeting in January, uh, the people, uh, People's Republic of China and Republic of Djibouti established the first diplomatic relations, uh, those uh, writing a new area of for sino djiboutian friendship and cooperation. It was January 1979 that People's Republic of China and the Republic of Djibouti first established diplomatic relations thereby writing a new era for sino djiboutian friendship and cooperation. Over the last 40 years, the amicable collaboration and understanding between the two countries have made it possible to achieve rapid and sustained development in bilateral relations between China and Djibouti. These relations have been characterized by fruitful and mutual beneficial cooperation China, a partner of Djibouti's socio-economic development for 40 years, has now become our country's leading trading partner and main investor. 
Since the establishment of all diplomatic relations, Chinese construction just as a people's palace in the El Haji Hassan Gulet Abtidon National Stadium have already turned into monuments that remain strong symbol in the collective consciousness of all Chibushin. From the 18th Congress of the Chinese Communist Party, sino Jibushin cooperation projects such as the Djibouti Addis Ababa Railway, the Doralil Multipurpose Port, the Arta Regional Hospital, the Ethiopian Water Supply Project in Djibouti, the Djibouti School of Excellence, the National Library and Achieves, social housing have already brought or will bring tangible benefit to the Djibouti people. Djibouti is also home to Chinese very first base of foreign support. Through his state visit to China in November 2017, Djibouti's President Ismail Omar Ghali became the first African head of state received by Chinese President Xi Jinping after the 90th Congress of the Chinese Communist Party. During the visit, the two heads of states decided by mutual agreement to raise sino djibouti relations to a strategic partnership level. The setting the course of the, for the development of all bilateral relations and opening a new chapter for friendship and cooperation between our two countries. The African Peer Review Mechanism Delegation Tour under the EPRM completed this continental mission of conducting a focus uh, evaluations on decentralization to ensure the financial autonomy of local and regional authorities in the north and south of the country. The country submitted its report to the Secretary General of Iranian Affairs, uh, Mr. Mohammed Ali Hassan, a report which focused on the state of uh, affairs but also the recommendation to be made uh, the head of uh, delegation Fatima Zuhra, head of mission who spoke stressed the role that the civil society must play in financial decentralization. The Secretary General of Iranian Affairs, Mr. Mohammed Ali Hassan, reminded that the decentralization was a political uh, wall that uh, the high level. After a week of intense activity, the week of social action ended the last Thursday at the nursery the Riel. The week of social action uh, was marked uh, by a fruitful social dialogue with a civil society meeting of proximity with the youth as well in the capital and in the region. Uh, the, the ceremony um, which took place on Thursday uh, in the real gathered around uh, Mrs. the Secretary of State, uh, Madame uh, Mona Osman Aden, as well as the actor of the partner uh, gift giving was the end point of this week of social action across uh, the country. And now let's move on continent and news. The U.S. military on Thursday killed uh, 52 Somali Islamists during air strikes following an attack by Shabaab Fatur against a Somali military base in the south of the country, according to the statement of from the U.S. commander in Africa. Air strikes. The air strikes were uh, carried out in, repen, in re response to an attack by a large group of Somali Shabab against Somali na national forces, which killed uh, 52 fighters. The statement said earlier uh, last year eight Somali soldiers were killed on Saturday morning by Shabab fighter in the attack on their camp on the outskirts of Kismayo, a southern poor city, according to military officials and local leaders. Here we finally arrive at the end of this news edition. Thank you for watching us. Goodbye. <laughs>